So uh, I wasn't gonna do much of a video, or actually any video at all. I'm, I'm actually in the shop today uh, tidying up. It's, it's the weekend, so I'm not working, but I'm, I'm working. Uh, Cody from CP's Garage brought his, what is this, 2019? 17 Range Rover. 17 Range Rover. I keep calling it a Land Rover, it's a Range Rover. Uh, I wasn't gonna do any videos on it, but I, I had to show you guys this business. He's uh, in the middle of installing a PPE performance uh, transmission pan, getting rid of the plastic one. It's actually like a pan and a filter in, uh, in one assembly. I actually have a video on something similar using a BMW pan if you guys wanna see it. Uh, I'll put a link to that in this video's description uh, down below. But anyway, back to the meat of what we're doing here. I, uh, I was walking by and I couldn't help but notice this thing, whatever, sticking out of the side of the exhaust. And I'm going, this is a lot of exhaust system. We've got exhaust coming down, running back, that looked like a padlock from, from this point of view. Look at it, it looks like a padlock sitting there. So then it makes a, a left, goes into a muffler. Uh, there's some kind of electronic valve or something going on in here. Then we come out, the thing splits, does some wavy action to accommodate the rear suspension. And then it goes into a couple more mufflers. And I'm just, uh, I'm kind of baffled by the absolute complexity of this three liter diesel Ford motor that's in this Land Rover, Range Rover. So this is the DPF. Particulate this, filter? Yep, particulate that's the filter. that's the filter, right? All right. This is EGR to the cooler. So they're pulling it behind the DPF, which is weird to me. They're that taking is, clean EGR. They don't want dirty EGR. We want super clean it's EGR. It's cooler too back here. Yep. That's exactly how it works. Then we got the DEF injector, which is spraying in here to go into the SCR. Oh, that's not a muffler, okay. No, nope, that's pardon the me. SCR. Got it, wow. Then it comes back, then you got the knock sensor, and then you got like a throttle valve to change the pitch. Of the not dog. knock like knocking, N-O-X. Knox sensor, I, I do it all the time. Then Tongue twister. we come out to the mufflers. No way. Well, by the time the exhaust gets back here, it's done so many twisty turns, loop-de-loops, and filters, and re-filters, and re-EGR that there's no sound left anyway. Right. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's not much to that in there either. No, look at that. Not. And it's pretty clean. There's not much soot. It's a clean exhaust. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of engineering in this thing. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed, to tell you the truth. How about that? Look Does it got that. 20s on it, 20 inch wheels? 21. 21s, ouch. That's gonna hurt when it's time to buy tires, yeah, man. Yeah, we just put tires on it. 21s. 1100 bucks. Woo, buddy, no, thank you. A lot of aluminum in this thing. Whole thing's made though. From what I understand, the whole body's aluminum. Look, look at that. Look at this transmission cradle. That's pretty nice. It looks like something that's custom made. Isn't yeah, it? that's uh, that ZF. They found those are in uh, BMWs, Dodge products like the Ram trucks. Uh, what else? Everything. Jeep. Jeeps have it. Yeah, that's the, the ZF eight speed. Maybe even Mercedes. It's funny because in a uh, in a Ram truck, the fluid is red in color but in a BMW, it's green or blue in color. And this was like a brown. Uh, is it dirty? No, it's uh, the ZF. One of the ZFs. So th yeah. Fluids. So that can, uh, I guess it comes in brown too, so three different ZF I colors. Guess it depends on where you get your fluid from. <laughs> wow. It's yeah, there's a, there's a lot of engineering in this thing, man. Seriously. Look how good that thing fits in. Now the question is, does it fit under that skid plate? Uh, I have a saw. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the last one when I did this uh, this upgraded style pan on um, I think it was BMW, I had to take a saw and chop out the skid plate okay, to accommodate the thing there. Let's we'll see if it fits. Let's do a real quick check. I'm kind of interested. I believe Cody is making a full length video on this uh, PPE pan and saw. Full video. We'll call this the preview video. What's that thing weigh? Nothing. Nada. Is I it? I think it goes. Up. I think if that's the way it went that you've got clearance for days uh, you might have it upside down sir that's not where I went no no you had it right I'm sorry I saw witness marks on the bottom and top of that business uh, you have to check your video to see where that thing goes I'm gonna have to dang I, well it looks like it fits I'll make another video if we have to chop this thing up with the demolition saw all right, guys, end of short video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. End of transmission, end of video. Oh, shit, yeah. end of, oh no, hang on, whoa, we got it.
We almost, I almost hit into the video, bro. <laughs> okay, it fits, yeah. How much it's got clearance? plenty of room. And a lot of room for air. That's more than that BMW. Airflow. Yes, it is. Is there a space for air to get in to take advantage of those cooling fins? I think it comes all the way from the front. That's rough. Yeah. We should get some aerodynamic scoops to put in the bottom Scoop of this. Up. Scoop some air to direct it to the bottom of that pan. This needs uh, re-engineered. All you need to do is have a scoop, cut a hole, bolt it on. Have a nice day. Yeah. All right, I'm leaving. See you guys later. In the video, in the transmission.